Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Tapshi Tech and Reviews. So in today's video, let's quickly see how to cancel recurring payments for your credit card or debit card. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get in the video. There are basically two platforms who manage recurring payments. Uh, one is called ManditHQ.com, as you can see, and the other one is um, SIHub.in. So it is managed by National Payment Corporation of India. NCPI Manage HQ is managed by Razorpay. It's basically basically depends on uh, bank and the business to which one to prefer. We don't have any control uh, which one to choose. So Mandate HQ has a cleaner interface UI, whereas um, the SI Hub interface is not that great. And each and each bank has a separate interface as well in SI Hub. So Mandate HQ as I told is managed by Razorpay and the interface is really clean and UI looks good something like this so each bank will have one subdomain in Mandate HQ for access bank it's something like this access.mandatehq.com and uh, same thing if you want to see in SI Hub this is the URL for access bank uh, it's sihub.in slash manage SI slash access bank so here in SI Hub, um, currently for Access Bank, they you need to register. You need to have a, a no, user ID and password. Earlier it was just entering credit card. For other banks in SI Hub, you can directly enter the credit card and uh, you know confirm with the OTP and see all the registered recurring payments. Only for Access Bank, it's a login feature which they have introduced. So yeah, let's come back to Mandate HQ which we are talking about. So Mandate HQ, it's something like this. This is the URL for uh, Access Bank. Uh, for SBI, there would be a separate URL. I believe it's sbi.mandatehq.com. For ICICI, it would be icici.mandatehq.com. If not icici.mandatehq.com, you can try icicibank.mandatehq.com. So let's quickly try that. Let me add icici and press enter. So you can see ICICI coming up. So it's something like that. You don't have to add any bank. You can directly give the bank name itself ICICI. So let's go back to access. As soon as this uh, UI loads up, they'll ask for the credit card number. And you'll have to enter your credit card or debit card number to see all the registered recurring payments. So, le so let me quickly type my credit card and come back. So once you enter uh, the submit button they will ask for a confirmation OTP confirmation so you can enter the OTP over here and uh, confirm the card belongs to you so let me enter this so when I click confirm so it will authenticate us once you click on confirm and it will show all the recurring uh, you know uh, registered recurring payments that's available over here so if you see right now there is Shopify uh, recurring payment that's currently registered on this credit card so you can directly click on this and you will see all the details of uh, previous payment that was done and on the top if you see there is cancel subscription as well you can you can click on cancel subscription and then confirm with yes cancel so maybe there will be one more OTP confirmation which you have to give so you can just give the OTP confirmation again and then click confirm and the ca subscription cancelled successfully message uh, should come up and on the top you can see cancelled so yeah that's how you cancel any recurring payments or subscription that's that you have registered for so this is for Razorpay managed uh, recurring services which is called Mandate HQ and if you don't see your recurring payments over here then you can look for one by going into this website sihub.in slash manage si access bank so here it's something like this if you click on continue they'll ask for login id and uh, uh, password if you don't have one you can sign up when you click on sign up they'll ask for your credit card details and uh, you can provide that and also the email id and password and once you enter that you should be registered and you should be able to log in uh, to this portal as well so let me log into this portal and show the um, the recurring services that's available here and it won't be same in both the website so both are managed separately and in both the website the recurring services won't be same so let me log in and come back so once you enter you can click on login and 
So once you are logged in, you can see all the registered recurring payments that's available for this card. Or you can see all the other cards as well, which have uh, registered uh, for this particular user ID and password. So you can click on that and you can see the recurring payments that's available for that card. And from here also you can cancel if you don't wish to you know, proceed further. So it's that simple and you can also see all the bills that was already done previously. So you can check from here by clicking on all bills you can check all the previous payments that you have done. So it's that simple guys hope you all uh, like the video hope this was useful if you like the video please do hit the like button subscribe comment let's catch again next video until then see you bye.